It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be presented with four different graphs, and we're going to determine which of the graphs represent a proportional relationship. Here's our question today. Myron is filling an empty teapot with water. The water fills the teapot at a rate of four fluid ounces per second. We're asked which of the following graphs shows how the amount of water in fluid ounces in the teapot changes over time. And we're presented with four different graphs. So here's where I'm going to have you pause the video, determine which graph represents this relationship, and then come back and hit play to see my work. Good luck. Welcome back. Again, we're looking for changes over time as we fill an empty teapot with water. And we know that the teapot is filling at a rate of four fluid ounces per second. I want to focus on the fact that the teapot is empty as it starts. We can see that we are comparing time, the amount of time that the tea water is going in the teapot, to the total amount of water in the teapot after a specific amount of time. We know that when we start at zero seconds, there is zero fluid ounces of water in the teapot. So the initial amount is zero, zero. At zero seconds, zero water. So every any graph that's going to represent this real world situation needs to have a point or begin at the origin. So let's check that first. So when I look at graph A and I plot a point at the origin, that is where this line begins. So it could possibly be graph A. When I look at graph B, the line does not begin at the origin. It begins at 0, 5. We're told it's empty. This graph says that at 0 seconds, there's 5 fluid ounces or 4, it looks like, 4 fluid ounces in the teapot. So graph B does not represent this situation. Looking at graph C, and we look at 0, 0, the line does not begin at 0, 0. We can see that this graph is showing you that at 0 seconds, the teapot has 40 fluid ounces of water in it. Therefore, this graph cannot represent the empty teapot. Graph D, plot that origin, and we can see that that does not have the origin point either, that this is at zero seconds, there's about four fluid ounces of water in the tea kettle. And we know that that is not true with this teapot. So we're going to eliminate graph D. So it looks by just looking to see if the initial starting was zero seconds with zero water, it's graph A. Let's enlarge graph A to determine if rate of four fluid ounces per second follows what the line is showing us. So when we look at this and we know that that rate is four fluid ounces per second, we can also translate that to be the ordered pair, four fluid ounces per second. So time is our X, ounces of water in the pot is Y. So that means after one second, there should be four fluid ounces. Let's check that on our graph. One second up to the line, four, four fluid ounces in the pot. So that checks. Now let's look at one more equivalent ratio, right? After two seconds, if it's four fluid ounces per second, two seconds filling, we should have eight fluid ounces of water, which would look like the ordered pair. X is two seconds, then Y should be eight fluid ounces. Let's go to our graph. Two seconds up to the line, eight fluid ounces. So we can plot a point there and we can see it's on the line. So now using our unit rate and the idea that the pot is empty, I can go back to my question and with confidence say that graph A is the graph that represents this relationship. And there you have it. That is how you determine the graph of a proportional relationship. And that's the magic of math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you'll come back soon.